what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here. And in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a voiceover. I'm gonna make this kind of quick. Um, in my next upcoming few videos, you'll kind of understand why this week was kind of sketchy with videos, but I'll save that for the actual recorded stuff and leave this voiceover for this video. I wasn't exactly sure. I wanted to make like a happy Valentine's Day video, but I ended up um, not having anything else to really record. So this, what you're watching here is Jenny Lee and I on Valentine's morning making little heart cinnamon red velvet, uh, I mean red velvet chocolate cinnamon buns but i guess they're not cinnamon buns because there's no cinnamon in them but whatever buns with some cream cheese frosting so i will drop the actual recipe below the link to the recipe the point i wanted to make in this video was just the concept that sometimes what you think you're going to be doing in life is not what you actually end up doing in life and uh, that's okay see i thought i was going to be a photographer for a really long time and then I thought I was gonna be a writer. I wanted to write books, poetry. I even went to college for writing and stuff. And then I found my passion for baking just exploding in my college years. And I dropped out of college actually. And I went to patriarch school. And in patriarch school, I did very well. I was surprised at how well I did actually. I mean, I knew I always had a passion and I knew I loved to do it. I always thought my stuff came out good, tasted good, but I didn't know I actually had this kind of extra little talent there. So when I explored that talent, I found that I did really well in school and I was creating things and having a lot of fun and my passion was growing. And so I really thought for the longest time that I was going to be a cake decorator for life and I was going to own my own cake decorating studio and it was going to be great. Um, and, and I was, you know, was starting to transition and I was making YouTube videos and all these things were happening. I started making t-shirts for 0.5 CC and I still thought that I was going to be a cake decorator. I mean, I had no vision of myself traveling, speaking at colleges, speaking at events, going to prides, going to transgender day of remembrances. I didn't know that I was going to start taking on this role that was being thrown at me, and that's the role of activist. I never called myself an activist. I never started YouTube videos to necessarily inspire people, but rather I kind of started them selfishly for myself. And what I found through that was that other people made videos for themselves and they inspired others. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna make videos for myself and maybe, just maybe, they'll help someone. But that wasn't the actual ultimate goal. It was more just, I felt alone, I wanted community. So I started making these YouTube videos and again, this word activist started getting thrown at me and I really actually wasn't that comfortable with the word activist. I felt like I didn't do anything to deserve it. I was just making YouTube videos at my house. But then I started speaking, I started volunteering and that's when I started realizing that, you know what? This is awesome, like I really love this. And, and I noticed that, how am I going to take two of my passions and make them both work in my favor, right? I felt like I had to give one up in order to pursue another. And I kind of did for a while, I stopped baking. I just stopped completely baking, I stopped making stuff and I found that I missed it, you know? I missed cake decorating, I missed doing that. I never knew I was gonna be making t-shirts and screen printing and traveling and speaking, you know? That was never something I thought I was gonna be doing, but I still love it, you know? And uh, it was just, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, interesting, you know, how, how I went from one passion to another and felt like I couldn't hold both at the same time. And now I'm realizing that I totally can hold both at the same time. I can be, on my downtime, a cake decorator, and on my, or not even downtime, you know, I mean, I, I can do both. I can have two passions at once. And I feel like so many people think that their passion, you have to have a job that is your passion. And that's not the truth, but I think people get that sense because they always hear, if you want to never get bored at your job, right? If you always want to love your job, then do something you're passionate about, right? But at the end of the day, you know, some people are passionate about things that you can't 
have really a job with, right? You know, some people like to hike and yeah, maybe they could be a ranger, but maybe they don't want to be. I mean, that's not their passion. You know, you could be a rock climber and you can work at a rock climbing gym or you can maybe try to be some famous rock climbing athlete, but maybe you're passionate about it, but that's not like what you want to do every single day. And I think people need to start realizing that it's okay to have a job that maybe isn't your passion, but you have uh, a sense of desire to have that job because you feel good in it. I meet people all the time who say, oh, you know, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do this. And I'm like, well, are you just satisfied at your job? And they're like, no, I really love my job. I'm like, okay, so then what's the problem? You know, you, you can still have passions. You have weekends, you have days off, you have, you know, the after hours of working, the before hours of working, you can have passions. And, you know, even in the fitness industry, I see people who are just dropping out of college or dropping out of their jobs and like, I'm going to do fitness because they have a passion for fitness. But that doesn't mean you have to drop everything you're doing to, to start be a trainer. You know what I mean? You can still have a love for fitness, but also really enjoy your construction working job and really like making and making these houses and stuff. So I just, you know, I, I just want to put out there that passion changes, you know? Um, things things can change and, and it's okay and I think I want to say this because I always was scared of it I was so scared that if I gave up cake decorating first of all I didn't I thought I had to give it up which isn't true but if I gave up cake decorating then I'm I'm gonna you know I'm gonna have to never do it again so I, I think the moral of this video is just the concept that again you know life isn't always gonna go as you plan but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing Life isn't always going to be A plus B equals C. But you know what? A plus B might equal K. And that might be the best thing that ever happened in your entire life. So keep those things in mind. Remember that having goals and having plans to get to those goals are so essential to accomplishing them. But don't feel scared if you get derailed. Because that derailment might be the best thing that ever happened in your life. It might be so motivating or it might be the it might be the worst thing that you thought could happen and then it leads to the best thing that ever happened in your entire life. So just keep those things in mind. Remember that you know you, you can have passions, you can be passionate about things, but it doesn't have to be your whole world. And if you are passionate about something and you find that passion fading, that's okay. You can move on to other things. You can find things that you're going to love to do that's going to motivate you to be the best person that you can be. And I think that's the point that I was trying to get through in this video. That I started baking again and I'm having a blast. Do I want to give up what I have now to be a cake decorator again? No, I don't. But I also can have multiple passions at one time and I'm trying to remember how blessed I am because so many people don't even have one passion. And here I am feeling like I have multiple. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I hope that you could take something from this rambling. If anything, maybe looking at this, uh, <laughs> this red velvet heart cinnamon roll thing is you will just make your mouth water and maybe invite you to go bake something and enjoy the night or the day ahead. So. I love y'all, keeping you in my heart, and thanks for watching. Peace.